Hey there, fellow adventurers! Welcome back to our channel, where we bring you thrilling expeditions and exciting discoveries from around the world. Today, we have something truly extraordinary to share with you. We're diving into the depths of the ocean to uncover the gripping story of the Titan Submersible and its ill-fated expedition to the Titanic in 2023. In this video we'll also discuss the predictions made by The Simpsons cartoon and Deborah Gratton. To know more about this, watch this video till the end. So, buckle up and get ready for a captivating underwater investigation. Our journey begins with the introduction of Titan a remarkable five-person submersible operated by OceanGate Incorporation. First of all we LL talk about what is submersible. A submersible is a watercraft designed to operate underwater, usually supported by a nearby surface vessel, platform, shore team or sometimes a larger submarine. The term submersible is often used to differentiate from other underwater vessels known as submarines, which are fully self-sufficient craft capable of independent cruising with its own power supply and air renewal system. Submersibles have many uses worldwide, such as oceanography, underwater archaeology, ocean exploration, adventure, equipment maintenance and recovery, and underwater videography. Titan Submersible was a 6.7 meter long and 10,432 kilograms cutting-edge vessel, constructed from carbon fiber and titanium. It was a true marvel of engineering. Its design and engineering involved collaboration with experts from NASA, Boeing, and the University of Washington, making it an exceptional piece of technology. Titan's hull was a combination of two titanium hemispheres connected by a 142 cm internal diameter, 2.4 m long carbon fiber wound cylinder, ensuring the safety and stability of the vessel. However, due to signs of cyclic fatigue, the hull's depth rating was downgraded to 3,000 meters in 2020. Nevertheless, repairs were made to address this issue, ensuring the submersible was ready for its daring mission. Equipped with four electric thrusters arrayed two horizontal and two vertical so that Titan could maneuver through the depths at speeds of up to three knots. Its steering controls, consisting of a modified Logitech F710 wireless game controller, showcased the innovative and adaptable nature of the vessel's design. Before we delve further into the expedition, let's address the controversies surrounding Titan. OceanGate claimed on its website as of 2023 that Titan was designed and engineered by OceanGate Incorporation in collaboration with experts from NASA, Boeing, and the University of Washington. A one-third scale model of the Cyclops II pressure vessel was built and tested at the Applied Physics Laboratory at University of Washington. The model was able to sustain a pressure of 4,285 psi, corresponding to a depth of about 3,000 meters. After the disappearance of Titan in 2023, the involvement of NASA, Boeing, and the University of Washington has been called into question, as each entity denied any collaboration or responsibility for the submersible's design and construction. It seems OceanGate may have embellished their affiliations. However, one aspect that cannot be disputed is the vessel's state-of-the-art monitoring systems. Titan boasted continuous monitoring of its hull strength, ensuring the safety of its occupants even in the most treacherous conditions. This feature is crucial, especially during deep-sea explorations. With life support systems capable of sustaining five people for up to 96 hours, Titan was well prepared for extended underwater missions. Such capabilities are vital when embarking on ventures into the unknown, as they provide a lifeline to those aboard. Now, let's set our sights on the expedition that captured the world's attention. Titan's voyage to the Titanic. The first dive took place in July 2021, marking the beginning of a series of groundbreaking explorations. In 2022, an additional seven dives were conducted, uncovering fascinating insights into the iconic shipwreck. Each dive involved a pilot, a guide, and three paying passengers, making for an unforgettable and immersive experience. Once inside the submersible, the hatch would be sealed shut, 
emphasizing the seriousness and dedication required for these expeditions. The descent to the Titanic's resting place typically took around two hours, with the full dive lasting approximately eight hours. Imagine the anticipation and excitement as the submersible made its way deeper into the ocean, inching closer to the historic wreck. Communication played a vital role in the success and safety of the mission. Titan emitted safety pings every 15 minutes, allowing the surface crew to monitor its progress and ensure everything was on track. Additionally, short text messages facilitated communication between the submersible and the support ship. As with any extraordinary adventure, embarking on the Titanic expedition came at a cost. Customers, referred to as mission specialists, paid a hefty fee ranging from $105,000 to $150,000 for the once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to explore the legendary shipwreck. Now, let's dive into the breathtaking sights that awaited the mission specialists. Upon reaching the Titanic, Titan's powerful lights illuminated the deep-sea darkness, revealing the haunting beauty of the wreckage. The submersible glided along the ship's debris, bringing history to life. Despite the historical significance, challenges persisted during the expeditions. Harsh conditions and technical difficulties occasionally disrupted the dives, reminding everyone of the risks associated with deep-sea exploration. The voyage was booked in early 2023. The submersible, carrying five people, was part of a tourist expedition to observe the wreck of Titanic. Rush approached Las Vegas businessman Jay Bloom with two discounted tickets, intending for him and his son to be on the trip. The billionaire was offered a price of $150,000 per seat, rather than the full price of $250,000, with Rush claiming that it was safer than crossing the street. Bloom turned down the offer over safety concerns. At that time the trip was scheduled for May, but bad weather delayed it to June. On the 16th of June 2023, the expedition to the Titanic departed from St. John's, Newfoundland. The dive operation began on the 18th of June at 9.30 Newfoundland Daylight Time. During the 2023 expedition, Titan successfully captured high-definition footage of the Titanic, revealing new details previously unseen. The footage provided valuable insights into the ship's deteriorating state, shedding light on the ongoing process of decay. One particular discovery was the advanced level of deterioration in the Titanic's famous Grand Staircase. This finding, along with many others, will contribute to our understanding of the ship's gradual disintegration and the effects of the surrounding marine environment. Titan's mission specialists were not merely passive observers, they played an active role in the expedition. By assisting in data collection and providing their unique perspectives, they became part of the ongoing research efforts surrounding the Titanic. The mission specialists were also tasked with documenting their experiences through photography and videography, allowing us all to witness the awe-inspiring journey firsthand. Their efforts brought the world closer to the mysteries of the Titanic. Safety was paramount throughout the expeditions. Titan underwent meticulous inspections and maintenance between each dive to ensure its continued reliability and performance. The well-being of all on board was of utmost importance, allowing the team to focus on their historic explorations. Sadly, every adventure must come to an end. For the first hour and a half of the descent, Titan communicated with Polar Prince every 15 minutes, but communication stopped after a recorded communication at 11.15 Newfoundland Daylight Time. It was expected to resurface at 16.30 NDT. At 19.10 NDT the US Coast Guard was notified of the missing vessel. Titan had up to 96 hours of breathable air supply for its five passengers when it set out, which would have expired on the morning of the 22nd of June 2023 if the submersible had remained intact. A U.S. Navy acoustic detection system designed to locate military submarines detected an acoustic signature consistent with an implosion hours after Titan submerged. This was discovered after the submersible was reported missing, which caused the Navy to review its acoustic data from that time period. The Navy passed the information to the Coast Guard, at 1318 NDT the U.S. Coast Guard's northeast sector announced that a debris field had been found near the wreck of Titanic. Oceangate issued a statement regarding the deaths of the people aboard, saying that it believed the lives of the five individuals aboard the capsule had been lost. Here is a prediction about this Titan. The American Simpson cartoon series is famous for its future predictions.
fetching for treasure with my long lost son. My this Titan event was already predicted in a Simpson cartoon episode in 2006. Where a son and father go to see the remains of Titanics and they get stuck there. In this episode they also showed signs of lower oxygen levels. These predictions are either a coincidence or conspiracy, no one knows. Another interesting fact about the Titan. Deborah Grattan, an Irish digital content creator and musician, has sparked a social media frenzy with her 2013 Facebook post. In the post, she shared a captivating dream that alluded to the Titanic incident. In 2013, Deborah Grattan had an intriguing dream that she immediately shared with her Facebook followers upon waking. Her post in 2013 was this. Had a weird dream that an evil billionaire started doing submarine trips down to Titanic and somehow pumped water out of parts of it but then it turned to disaster on its maiden outing. Prob makes a good movie. After this incident in 2023, she again posted a status on Facebook which is. So it looks like a post I made in 2013 is going viral. I just wanted to say that I honestly am a little bit sad about the subject matter of the post. I had a bad dream and posted it up, but I can't contemplate how awful it would be to be in that situation those poor people are in. It doesn't matter that they are rich people, they are still people and no one deserves to die like that. To confirm this news you can also check Deborah Grattan Facebook profile. I have also checked it myself. However, Pelagic Research Services confirmed on the 23rd of June that a new mission to the Titan debris field was already underway and that it had taken the Odysseus 6K remotely operated underwater vehicle ROV one hour to reach the site. After a search lasting nearly 80 hours, ROV discovered a debris field containing parts of Titan, about 1,600 feet from the bow of Titanic. It was further reported however that the debris from Titan is too heavy for Pelagic's ROV to lift and that any recovery would need to take place at a later stage. Both Canada and the United States announced that they were launching investigations into the incident. The memories and discoveries made aboard Titan will forever remain in the hearts and minds of those lucky enough to participate. As we conclude this incredible journey, it's clear that Titan's expedition to the Titanic was a groundbreaking feat of human ingenuity and exploration. The submersible's innovative design, combined with the dedication and expertise of its crew, allowed for an unforgettable exploration of one of history's most iconic shipwrecks. Thank you for joining us on this mesmerizing dive into the depths. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on our future adventures. Until next time. Keep exploring, stay curious, and always remember that the mysteries of the world are waiting to be discovered.